Hey, welcome back and thanks for joining me today. We're in the southern part of Brevard County, Florida, and I've got myself into a little bit of pickle. Let's go inside, I'll show you. Alrighty. <clears throat> Master bathroom. Alright, so we're replacing parts and trim to a mown shower. And we got to the point where we were taking the arm off and that baby snapped off in the wall. We got to get them threads out of there. Oh boy. Ooh, that is ugly in there. Back in there. <laughs> threads, they got to come out with all that calcium build up in there. Yikes. All right, let's start by uh, grabbing a regular Phillips head screwdriver and cleaning all that calcium buildup out of there and open up an area so we can see what we're working with. Oh, yeah, look at all that. It's all buttered up in there. Look at that. Oh, that's bad stuff right there. You see that shiny part that's right there? That's the threads. they got to come out of there back as soon as we get this cleaned up a little bit all right if you look closely this is three threads deep broken off inside that female uh, brass adapter up there i'm going to attempt to take a saw and notch that and try to tap it out i don't believe a tap will work I'm trying to pull that out without hurting the threads we'll try that first if that doesn't work we're going to have to try to tap that out all right, so now we got it kind of cleaned up a little bit so we can do some work in there and stuff. I'm going to try to get and extract those old broken threads out of there. I did notice that the insulation in some of the drywall was wet. So this is something that was leaking in the wall before I even got here. And it didn't take nothing for that thing to snap off. I was literally just turning it by hand and it snapped off in my hand. So I've informed the customer that there may be a little bit of water damage back behind in that wall because it looks like it's been leaking for some time and a possibility of mold but i didn't want to freak them out they're older people and stuff so we're going to get those out of there just get this thing put back together and everything but i can't hide things that i find like that from customers they have to know it's got to be, be on disclosed at all times and keep everything up front so let's see if we can get those threads out all right so we have a couple die taps or whatever you want to call these things extractors i think that's probably going to be too big this might be too small but we're going to see if they'll fit anyways uh, see, it's hitting the back of there. That won't work. That's a smaller one. We'll see about the bigger one. Yeah, no, that's not going to work. We're going to have to do this the hard way. Nice and easy. You don't want to booger up those threads on the female adapter. I'm just trying to get this cut to a point where we can pluck it out. there. I got a little flathead screwdriver as well as a hammer. We're going to try to pop that little band out of there and pluck it out. Wish me luck. She's still hanging in there tough with me. I'm trying to get that out of there. I'm trying to hook the screwdriver back behind that lip right there. And then we can pull that thing out. Let's keep trying. All right, I got it going there. Let's see if we can get in there. Uh-oh. Look. Watch. 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 I got a piece of it out. See that? There's still some stuck up in there, but we got a good start. Now we can pluck the rest of it out of there. Okay, 
We got the last piece is hanging out right in there and I don't want it to fall down in the wall. We gotta try to get that thing out. Oh, 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 oh. easy, easy. All right, I need to get the needle nose in there and get that out of there. All right, a oh, little trusty needle nose. I try to get in there. This is hard to do <clears throat> one-handed. Look at it. There's some white over there. Got a little bit of it still set back there. I don't want to lose it back in that wall. Yikes. All right, it looks like we got most of this stuff out. I need to get a wire brush. I'm still concerned about that area right there. And we'll find out what shape it's in once we get the wire brush in there and clean that out. So if you look, I still got a piece right there that's hanging on there. I got to get that last little bit out of there. There's about an inch worth of thread still on there. And the side looks good. So let's try to pluck that one out too. Ah, look at that. See, that's why you got to watch. Pay attention. I still think there's a tiny little piece sitting right there. Got one more piece to get out of there. All right, we broke that loose, but it's stuck back in there. I don't want it to fall. I'm going to have to try to pluck that thing out of there. Ugh. Hold on. All right, I'll be back once we can get that out. We don't want that to fall down in the wall. I still think there might be a little piece of that thread stuck in there too. Right in there. I got a trusty little magnet here. I'm gonna see if I can pluck that piece out if it's metal. <laughs> you know, things nowadays, most stuff is plastic. All right, I think we got the rest of it out of there and the threads cleaned up as good as we can. Whew. All right. All right, we got a new arm now. Teflon tape up the long end, which will be going into the wall. All right, this is piped up. Nicely done. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Hopefully get all them threads out of there and get this new one will thread in. There she goes. Oh yes. That's a pretty sight. Okay. Just like that. And the discussion. Bang. Hey, that's gonna do it for this one. Thanks so much for hanging out and watching the video. The typical and most uh, genuine way of really trying to extract something like this is with one of those extractors that I showed you. I didn't have the right size, but still, that's a crapshoot when it comes to that. And I ended up having to chip that thing out or it came out in about 10 different pieces. Um, and if you're gonna try to put a little saw in there and try to tap it out, be really careful of those threads. You don't wanna butter them up. Of course, when you put that new shower arm back in there, lots of Teflon tape and lots of pipe dough. That'll help correct maybe a little nick or something you might have left in one of those threads. Got any questions, leave them down below and don't forget to keep plumbing.